The Iberian Peninsula, also known as Iberia, is located in the southwest corner of Europe. The peninsula is principally divided between Spain and Portugal, comprising most of their territory. It also includes Andorra, and a small part of France along the peninsula's northeastern edge, as well as Gibraltar on its south coast, a small peninsula that forms an overseas territory of the United Kingdom. With an area of approximately 596,740 square kilometers, 230,400 square miles, it is the second largest European peninsula after the Scandinavian. Topic: Name. Topic. Topic: Greek name. Topic. The word Iberia is a noun adapted from the Latin word, Iberia, originated by the ancient Greek word Iberia, Iberia by Greek geographers under the rule of the Roman Empire to refer to what is known today in English as the Iberian Peninsula. At that time, the name did not describe a single political entity or a distinct population of people. Strabo's Iberia was delineated from Celtic Gaul by the Pyrenees and included the entire land mass southwest he says west of there. The noun Hiberia fell into disuse when the Romans decided to call the most western part of the peninsula Lusitania today Portugal and the remaining territory Hispania modern Spain. With the fall of the Roman Empire and the establishment of the new Castilian language in Spain, the word Iberia appeared for the first time in use as a direct descendant of the Greek word Iberia and the Roman word Iberia. The ancient Greeks reached the Iberian Peninsula, of which they had heard from the Phoenicians, by voyaging westward on the Mediterranean. Hecateus of Miletus was the first known to use the term Iberia, which he wrote about circa 500 BC. Herodotus of Halicarnassus says of the Phocians that, "...it was they who made the Greeks acquainted with Iberia." According to Strabo, prior historians used Iberia to mean the country, "...this side of the Iberos, Iberos as far north as the river Rhone in France, but currently they set the Pyrenees as the limit. Polybius respects that limit, but identifies Iberia as the Mediterranean side as far south as Gibraltar, with the Atlantic side having no name. Elsewhere he says that Saguntum is, "...on the seaward foot of the range of hills connecting Iberia and Celtiberia." Strabo refers to the Caritanians as people, "...of the Iberian stock," living in the Pyrenees, who are distinct from either Celts or Celtiberians. Roman names Topic. According to Charles Ebel, the ancient sources in both Latin and Greek use Hispania and Hiberia Greek, Iberia as synonyms. The confusion of the words was because of an overlapping in political and geographic perspectives. The Latin word Hiberia, similar to the Greek Iberia, literally translates to land of the Hiberians. This word was derived from the river Ebro, which the Romans called Hyberus. Hyber Iberian was thus used as a term for peoples living near the river Ebro. The first mention in Roman literature was by the analyst poet Ennius in 200 BC Virgil refers to the Ipacados Hyberos, restless Iberi, in his Georgics. The Roman geographers and other prose writers from the time of the late Roman Republic called the entire peninsula Hispania. As they became politically interested in the former Carthaginian territories, the Romans began to use the names Hispania Citerior and Hispania Ulterior for near and far Hispania. At the time Hispania was made up of three Roman provinces, Hispania Baetica, Hispania Terraconensis, and Hispania Lusitania. Strabo says that the Romans use Hispania and Iberia synonymously, distinguishing between the near northern and the far southern provinces. The name Iberia was ambiguous, being also the name of the Kingdom of Iberia in the Caucasus. Whatever language may generally have been spoken on the peninsula soon gave way to Latin, except for that of the Vascones, which was preserved as a language isolate by the barrier of the Pyrenees. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The Iberian Peninsula has always been associated with the Ebro, Eburos in Ancient Greek and Iberus or Hyberus in Latin. 
The association was so well known it was hardly necessary to state, for example, Iberia was the country, this side of the Iberus, in Strabo. Pliny goes so far as to assert that the Greeks had called the whole of Spain, Iberia because of the Hyberus River. The river appears in the Ebro Treaty of 226 BC between Rome and Carthage, setting the limit of Carthaginian interest at the Ebro. The fullest description of the treaty, stated in Appian, uses Iberus. With reference to this border, Polybius states that the native name is Iber, apparently the original word, stripped of its Greek or Latin OS or US termination. The early range of these natives, which geographers and historians place from today's southern Spain to today's southern France along the Mediterranean coast, is marked by instances of a readable script expressing a yet unknown language, dubbed Iberian. Whether this was the native name or was given to them by the Greeks for their residence on the Ebro remains unknown. Credence in Polybius imposes certain limitations on etymologizing. If the language remains unknown, the meanings of the words, including Iber, must also remain unknown. In modern Basque, the word Ibar means valley or watered meadow, while Ibai means river, but there is no proof relating the etymology of the Ebro River with these Basque names. In Serbia, there is River Ibar, but there is no proof relating the etymology of the Ebro River with this Serbian river name. Topic. Prehistory Topic. Topic. Paleolithic Topic. The Iberian Peninsula has been inhabited for at least 1.2 million years as remains found in the sites in the Atapuerca Mountains demonstrate. Among these sites is the cave of Grandolina, where six hominin skeletons, dated between 780,000 and 1 million years ago, were found in 1994. Experts have debated whether these skeletons belong to the species Homo erectus, Homo heidelbergensis, or a new species called Homo antecessor. Around 200,000 BP, during the Lower Paleolithic period, Neanderthals first entered the Iberian Peninsula. Around 70,000 BP, during the Middle Paleolithic period, the last glacial event began and the Neanderthal Mousterian culture was established. Around 37,000 BP, during the Upper Paleolithic, the Neanderthal Chattel Peronian cultural period began. Emanating from southern France, this culture extended into the north of the peninsula. It continued to exist until around 30,000 BP, when Neanderthal man faced extinction. About 40,000 years ago, anatomically modern humans entered the Iberian Peninsula from southern France. Here, this genetically homogeneous population, characterized by the M173 mutation in the Y chromosome, developed the M343 mutation, giving rise to haplogroup R1b, still the most common in modern Portuguese and Spanish males. On the Iberian Peninsula, modern humans developed a series of different cultures, such as the Aurignacian, Gravedian, Salutrian and Magdalenian cultures, some of them characterized by the complex forms of the art of the Upper Paleolithic. Neolithic <inaudible> 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 During the Neolithic expansion, various megalithic cultures developed in the Iberian Peninsula. An open seas navigation culture from the East Mediterranean, called the Cardium culture, also extended its influence to the eastern coasts of the peninsula, possibly as early as the 5th millennium BC. These people may have had some relation to the subsequent development of the Iberian civilization. Chalcolithic <laughs> <laughs> In the Chalcolithic C. 3000 BC, a series of complex cultures developed that would give rise to the peninsula's first civilizations and to extensive exchange networks reaching to the Baltic, Middle East and North Africa. Around 2800-2700 BC, the beaker culture, which produced the maritime bell beaker, probably originated in the vibrant copper using communities of the Tagus estuary in Portugal and spread from there to many parts of Western Europe. Bronze Age Bronze Age cultures developed beginning c.1800 BC, when the civilization of Los Malares was followed by that of El Argar. 
From this center, bronze technology spread to other cultures like the Bronze of Levante, southwestern Iberian Bronze and Las Cogotas. In the Late Bronze Age, the urban civilization of Tartessos developed in the area of modern western Andalusia, characterized by Phoenician influence and using the southwest Paleo-Hispanic script for its Tartessian language, not related to the Iberian language. Early in the first millennium BC, several waves of pre-Celts and Celts migrated from Central Europe, thus partially changing the peninsula's ethnic landscape to Indo-European speaking in its northern and western regions. In northwestern Iberia modern northern Portugal, Asturias and Galicia, a Celtic culture developed, the Castro culture, with a large number of hill forts and some fortified cities. <laughs> Proto-history by the Iron Age, starting in the 7th century BC, the Iberian Peninsula consisted of complex agrarian and urban civilizations, either pre-Celtic or Celtic such as the Lusitanians, Celtiberians, Galaechi, Astures, Celtici and others, the cultures of the Iberians in the eastern and southern zones and the cultures of the Aquitanian in the western portion of the Pyrenees. The seafaring Phoenicians, Greeks and Carthaginians successively settled along the Mediterranean coast and founded trading colonies there over a period of several centuries. Around 1100 BC, Phoenician merchants founded the trading colony of Gadir or Gades modern-day Cadiz near Tartessos. In the 8th century BC, the first Greek colonies, such as Emporian modern emperies, were founded along the Mediterranean coast on the east, leaving the south coast to the Phoenicians. The Greeks coined the name Iberia, after the river Iber Ebro. In the 6th century BC, the Carthaginians arrived in the peninsula while struggling with the Greeks for control of the western Mediterranean. Their most important colony was Carthago Nova modern-day Cartagena, Spain. History Roman rule In 218 BC, during the Second Punic War against the Carthaginians, the first Roman troops invaded the Iberian Peninsula, however, it was not until the reign of Augustus that it was annexed after two centuries of war with the Celtic and Iberian tribes and the Phoenician, Greek and Carthaginian colonies. The result was the creation of the province of Hispania. It was divided into Hispania Ulterior and Hispania Siderior during the late Roman Republic, and during the Roman Empire, it was divided into Hispania Terraconensis in the northeast, Hispania Baetica in the south and Lusitania in the southwest. Hispania supplied the Roman Empire with silver, food, olive oil, wine, and metal. The emperors Trajan, Hadrian, Marcus Aurelius, and Theodosius I, the philosopher Seneca the Younger, and the poets Martial and Lucan were born from families living on the Iberian Peninsula. <laughs> Germanic kingdoms in the early 5th century, Germanic peoples invaded the peninsula, namely the Subi, the Vandals and, and their allies, the Alans. Only the kingdom of the Subi Quadi and Marcomanni would endure after the arrival of another wave of Germanic invaders, the Visigoths, who conquered all of the Iberian Peninsula and expelled or partially integrated the Vandals and the Alans. The Visigoths eventually conquered the Subi kingdom and its capital city, Bracara modern-day Braga, in 584–585. They would also conquer the province of the Byzantine Empire 552 of Spania in the south of the peninsula and the Balearic Islands. <inaudible> Islamic Caliphate In 711, a Muslim army invaded the Visigothic Kingdom in Hispania. Under Tariq ibn Ziyad, the Islamic army landed at Gibraltar and, in an eight-year campaign, occupied all except the northern kingdoms of the Iberian Peninsula in the Umayyad conquest of Hispania. Al-Andalus Arabic, Al-Andalus tr. Al-Andalus, possibly, Land of the Vandals, is the Arabic name given to what is today southern Spain by its Muslim Berber and Arab occupiers. From the 8th-15th centuries, only the southern part of the Iberian Peninsula was part of the Islamic world. It became a center of culture and learning, especially during the Caliphate of Córdoba, which reached its height of its power under the rule of Abd ar-Rahman III and his successor al-Hakam II. 
The Muslims, who were initially Arabs and Berbers, included some local converts, the so-called Maladi. The Muslims were referred to by the generic name, Moors the Reconquista gained momentum on c. 718, when the Christian Asturians opposed the Moors. The southern march to push out the Muslims continued for 300 years. For another 400 years, only the southern part of the Iberian Peninsula was transformed into a Romance-speaking and Arabic-speaking Muslim land, along with pockets of a large minority of Arabic-speaking Sephardi Jews. Reconquest Many of the ousted Gothic nobles took refuge in the unconquered North Kingdom of Asturias. From there, they aimed to reconquer their lands from the Moors. This war of reconquest is known as the Reconquista. Christian and Muslim kingdoms fought and allied among themselves. The Muslim Taifa kings competed in patronage of the arts, the Camino de Santiago attracted pilgrims from all Western Europe, and the Jewish population set the basis of Sephardi culture. During the Middle Ages, the peninsula housed many small states, including the Kingdom of Castile, Crown of Aragon, Kingdom of Navarre, Kingdom of Leon, and the Kingdom of Portugal. The peninsula was part of the Almohad Caliphate until it finally uprooted by Castile in the 1230s. The last major Muslim stronghold was Granada, which was conquered by a combined Castilian and Aragonese force in 1492. Muslims and Jews throughout the period were variously tolerated or shown intolerance in different Christian kingdoms. After the fall of Granada, all Muslims and Jews were ordered to convert to Christianity or face expulsion. Many Jews and Muslims fled to North Africa and the Ottoman Empire, while others publicly converted to Christianity and became known respectively as Muranos and Moriscos. However, many of these continued to practice their religion in secret. The Moriscos revolted several times and were ultimately forcibly expelled from Spain in the early 17th century. Post-reconquest the small states gradually amalgamated over time. Portugal was the exception, except for a brief period 1540, during which the whole peninsula was united politically under the Iberian Union. After that point, the modern position was reached and the peninsula now consists of the countries of Spain and Portugal excluding their islands. The Portuguese Azores and Madeira and the Spanish Canary Islands and Balearic Islands, and the Spanish exclaves of Ceuta and Melilla, Andorra, French Cerdanya and Gibraltar. Geography and geology The Iberian Peninsula is the westernmost of the three major southern European peninsulas—the Iberian, Italian, and Balkan. It is bordered on the southeast and east by the Mediterranean Sea, and on the north, west, and southwest by the Atlantic Ocean. The Pyrenees Mountains are situated along the northeast edge of the peninsula, where it adjoins the rest of Europe. Its southern tip is very close to the northwest coast of Africa, separated from it by the Strait of Gibraltar and the Mediterranean Sea. The Iberian Peninsula extends from the southernmost extremity at Punta de Tarifa 36 degrees 00 15 N 5 degrees 36 minutes 37 seconds west to the northernmost extremity at Punta de Estaca de Bears 43 degrees 47 minutes 38 seconds north 7 degrees 41 minutes 17 seconds west over a distance between lines of latitude of about 865 kilometers 537 miles based on a degree length of 111 kilometers 69 miles per degree and from the westernmost extremity at Cabo da Roca 38 degrees 46 minutes 51 seconds north 9 degrees 29 minutes 54 seconds west to the easternmost extremity at Cap de Crius 42 degrees 1909 N 3 degrees 19 minutes 19 seconds east over a distance between lines of longitude at 40 degrees north latitude of about 1155 kilometers 718 miles based on an estimated degree length of about 90 km kilometers 56 miles for that latitude the irregular roughly octagonal shape of the peninsula contained within this spherical quadrangle was compared to an ox hide by the geographer strabo about 3 quarters of that rough octagon is the meseta central a vast plateau ranging from 610 to 760 meters in altitude it is located approximately in the center, staggered slightly to the east and tilted slightly toward the west the conventional center of the Iberian Peninsula has long been considered Getafe just south of Madrid. 
It is ringed by mountains and contains the sources of most of the rivers, which find their way through gaps in the mountain barriers on all sides. Coastline <inaudible> 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 The coastline of the Iberian Peninsula is 3,313 kilometers (2,059 miles), 1,660 kilometers (1,030 miles) on the Mediterranean side, and 1,653 kilometers (1,027 miles) on the Atlantic side. The coast has been inundated over time, with sea levels having risen from a minimum of 115 to 120 meters (377 to 394 feet) lower than today at the last glacial maximum (LGM) to its current level at 4,000 years BP. The coastal shelf created by sedimentation during that time remains below the surface. However, it was never very extensive on the Atlantic side, as the continental shelf drops rather steeply into the depths. An estimated 700 kilometers (430 miles) length of Atlantic shelf is only 10 to 65 kilometers (6.2 to 40.4 miles) wide. At the 500 meters (1,600 feet) isobath on the edge, the shelf drops off to 1,000 meters (3,300 feet). The submarine topography of the coastal waters of the Iberian Peninsula has been studied extensively in the process of drilling for oil. Ultimately, the shelf drops into the Bay of Biscay on the north an abyss, the Iberian Abyssal Plain at 4,800 meters (15,700 feet) on the west, and Tagus Abyssal Plain to the south. In the north, between the continental shelf and the abyss, is an extension called the Galicia Bank, a plateau that also contains the Porto, Vigo, and Vasco da Gama seamounts, which form the Galicia Interior Basin. The southern border of these features is marked by Nazare Canyon, which splits the continental shelf and leads directly into the abyss. Rivers The major rivers flow through the wide valleys between the mountain systems. These are the Ebro, Douro, Tagus, Guadiana and Guadalquivir. All rivers in the Iberian Peninsula are subject to seasonal variations in flow. The Tagus is the longest river on the peninsula and, like the Douro, flows westwards with its lower course in Portugal. The Guadiana River bends southwards and forms the border between Spain and Portugal in the last stretch of its course. Mountains <inaudible> 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 The terrain of the Iberian Peninsula is largely mountainous. The major mountain systems are the Pyrenees and their foothills, the pre-Pyrenees, crossing the isthmus of the peninsula so completely as to allow no passage except by mountain road, trail, coastal road or tunnel. Aneto in the Maladeta Massif, at 3,404 meters, is the highest point. The Cantabrian Mountains along the northern coast with the massive Picos de Europa. Torre de Cerrado, at 2,648 meters, is the highest point. The Galicia – Tras os Montes Massif in the northwest is made up of very old heavily eroded rocks. Peña Trevinca, at 2,127 meters, is the highest point. The Sistema Ibérico, a complex system at the heart of the peninsula, in its central, eastern region. It contains a great number of ranges and divides the watershed of the Tagus, Douro and Ebro rivers. Mung Cayo, at 2,313 meters, is the highest point. The Sistema Central, dividing the Iberian Plateau into a northern and a southern half and stretching into Portugal where the highest point of continental Portugal 1993 meters is located in the Serra da Estrela. Pico Almanzar in the Sierra de Grados is the highest point, at 2,592 meters. The Montes de Toledo, which also stretches into Portugal from the La Mancha natural region at the eastern end. Its highest point, at 1,603 meters, is La Villahuerca in the Sierra de Villarcas, Extremadura. The Sierra Morena, which divides the watershed of the Guadiana and Guadalquivir rivers. At 1,332 meters, Banuela is the highest point. The Betic system, which stretches between Cadiz and Gibraltar and northeast towards Alicante province. It is divided into three subsystems. Prebetic system, which begins west of the Sierra Sur de Jaén, reaching the Mediterranean Sea shores in Alicante Province. La Sagra is the highest point at 2,382 meters. 
Subetic system, which is in a central position within the Betic systems, stretching from Cape Trafalgar in Cadiz province across Andalusia to the region of Murcia. The highest point, at 2,027 metres 6 feet, is Peña de la Cruz in Sierra Arana. Penabetic system, located in the far southeastern area stretching between Gibraltar across the Mediterranean coastal Andalusian provinces. It includes the highest point in the peninsula, the 3,478 metres high Mulhassan in the Sierra Nevada. Geology <inaudible> 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 The Iberian Peninsula contains rocks of every geological period from the Ediacaran to the recent, and almost every kind of rock is represented. World-class mineral deposits can also be found there. The core of the Iberian Peninsula consists of a Hercynian cratonic block known as the Iberian Massif. On the northeast, this is bounded by the Pyrenean Fold Belt, and on the southeast it is bounded by the Betic system. These twofold chains are part of the Alpine Belt. To the west, the peninsula is delimited by the continental boundary formed by the magma pore opening of the Atlantic Ocean. The Hercynian fold belt is mostly buried by Mesozoic and Tertiary cover rocks to the east, but nevertheless outcrops through the Sistema Iberico and the Catalan Mediterranean system. <laughs> Climate The Iberian Peninsula has two dominant climate types. One of these is the oceanic climate seen in the Atlantic coastal region resulting in evenly temperatures with relatively cool summers. However, most of Portugal and Spain have a Mediterranean climate with various precipitation and temperatures depending on latitude and position versus the sea. There are also more localized semi-arid climates in central Spain, with temperatures resembling a more continental Mediterranean climate. In other extreme cases highland alpine climates such as in Sierra Nevada and areas with extremely low precipitation and desert climates or semi-arid climates such as the Almeria area, Murcia area and southern Alicante area. In the Spanish interior the hottest temperatures in Europe are found, with Córdoba averaging around 37 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit in July. The Spanish Mediterranean coast usually averages around 30 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit in summer. In sharp contrast A Coruña at the northern tip of Galicia has a summer daytime high average at just below 23 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. This cool and wet summer climate is replicated throughout most of the northern coastline. Winter temperatures are more consistent throughout the peninsula, although frosts are common in the Spanish interior, even though daytime highs are usually above the freezing point. In Portugal, the warmest winters of the country are found in the area of Algarve, very similar to the ones from Huelva in Spain, while most of the Portuguese Atlantic coast has fresh and humid winters, similar to Galicia. <laughs> Major modern countries Topic. Political divisions of the Iberian Peninsula sorted by area topic. Major urban areas topic. The main metropolitan areas of the Iberian Peninsula are Madrid, Barcelona, Lisbon, Valencia, Porto, Seville, Bilbao, Guimarães, Malaga, Braga, Central Asturias, Gijón, Oviedo, Avilés, Alicante, Elche, Murcia, and Coimbra. Topic: Major cities. Topic. Various other notable cities populations given are for the cities proper not the metro areas or municipalities are also present on the peninsula, such as, Elche 228,647, part of the Alicante Elche Elda metro area, Oviedo 225,973, Badalona 220,977 and Terrassa 215,678 in Spain, and Braga 192,494, Amador Andorra 175558 Almada 174030 Odavelas 144549 and Coimbra 143397 in Portugal Topic Ecology Topic Topic Forests 
Topic: The woodlands of the Iberian Peninsula are distinct ecosystems. Although the various regions are each characterized by distinct vegetation, there are some similarities across the peninsula. While the borders between these regions are not clearly defined, there is a mutual influence that makes it very hard to establish boundaries and some species find their optimal habitat in the intermediate areas. Topic: <laughs> East Atlantic Flyway. Topic: the Iberian Peninsula in an important stopover on the East Atlantic Flyway for birds migrating from Northern Europe to Africa. For example, curlew sandpipers rest in the region of the Bay of Cadiz. In addition to the birds migrating through, some 7 million wading birds from the north spend the winter in the estuaries and wetlands of the Iberian Peninsula, mainly at locations on the Atlantic coast. In Galicia are Ria de Arauza, a home of grey plover, Ria de Ortiguera, Ria de Corme, and Ria de Lax. In Portugal, the Aveiro Lagoon hosts Recurvarostra avizeta, the common ringed plover, grey plover and little stint. Ribatejo province on the Tagus supports Recurvarostra rosetta, grey plover, dunlin, bar-tailed godwit and common redshank. In the Sado estuary are dunlin, Eurasian curlew, grey plover and common redshank. The Algarve hosts red knot, common greenshank and turnstone. The Guadalquivir marshes region of Andalusia and the Salinas de Cadiz are especially rich in wintering wading birds, Kentish plover, common ringed plover, sanderling, and black-tailed godwit in addition to the others. And finally, the Ebro Delta is home to all the species mentioned above. <laughs> <laughs> Languages with the sole exception of Basque, which is of unknown origin, all modern Iberian languages descend from Vulgar Latin and belong to the Western Romance languages. Throughout history and prehistory, many different languages have been spoken in the Iberian Peninsula, contributing to the formation and differentiation of the contemporaneous languages of Iberia, however, most of them have become extinct or fallen into disuse. Basque is the only non Indo European surviving language in Iberia and Western Europe. In modern times, Spanish, CF, 30 to 40 million speakers, Portuguese, CF, around 10 million speakers, Catalan, CF, around 9 million speakers, Galician, CF, around 3 million speakers, and Basque, CF, around 1 million speakers are the most widely spoken languages in the Iberian Peninsula. Spanish and Portuguese have expanded beyond Iberia to the rest of the world, becoming global languages. Economy Major industries include mining, tourism, small farms, and fishing. Because the coast is so long, fishing is popular, especially sardines, tuna and anchovies. Most of the mining occurs in the Pyrenees Mountains. Commodities mined include, iron, gold, coal, lead, silver, zinc, and salt. See also Topic Topic Notes Topic Topic References Topic Topic External Links Topic. Arioso, Paula, Diego Miozzi. Iberian Peninsula Links. Stone Pages. Retrieved 5 December 2008. Flores, Carlos, Nicole Maca Meyer, Anna M. Gonzalez, Peter J. Efner, Pidong Shen, Jose A. Perez, Antonio Rojas, Jose M. Laruga, Peter A. Underhill. 2004. Reduced genetic structure of the Iberian Peninsula revealed by Y chromosome analysis, implications for population demography. PDF. European Journal of Human Genetics. 12 10, 855 863. doi 10.1038 sj.eg.each.5201225. PMID 15280900. Archived from the original PDF on the 17th of December 2008. Retrieved the 5th of December 2008. Lloyd, Nick. 2007. 
Iberia Nature: A Guide to the Environment, Climate, Wildlife, Geography and Nature of Spain. Retrieved the 4th of December 2008. Silva, Luis Fraga de Ethnologic Map of Pre-Roman Iberia, circa 200 BC. New version number 10. In English, Portuguese and Latin. Associacao Campo Arqueológico de Tavira, Tavira, Portugal. Archived from the original on 6 October 2008. Retrieved 4 December 2008.